Portions of this episode are being brought to you by Sensation Comics Comic Shops. The home of, what the heck are you buying that comic for? What are you, Goofy? That's a piece of... Hey folks, it's me, your TV Pill Comic Book Man, and I'm back once again with your weekly look at this week's shipping, Ship Shape Update. And this time, it's going to be for New Comic Wednesday, February the 5th, 2020. It is our 1333rd week of Altering Your Reality. And this week's episode will feature our Books of the Week, our Top 10 list, our Raffle Media winner, and much more. So, when you stop off at your full-service comic book store this new Comic Wednesday from 7 a.m. until 7.30 p.m., you will find 247 total items, both new and returning, on the racks and ready to go for this week. And of those 247 items, 167 of them will be brand new comics, every one of which will be 15% off all week long. That's a total savings to you of $105.25 if you were to pick them all up, which of course you're not going to do, but you will get 15% off of all of this week's new comics if you come down here this week, so don't miss out. Also, of the 167 new comics coming in this week, 20 of them will be first issues, and every single one of those will be 25% off on New Comic Wednesday because that is our first day sale. Very first day, brand new first issue comes out. That first issue is 25% off all day long. That is a total savings to you of $19.96 if you were to pick up all of this week's first issues on New Comic Wednesday. Again, you probably won't do that, but 25% off is waiting for you down here at Alternate Reality this coming New Comic Wednesday. Also this week, you will find 16 last issues, 8 second prints, 2 gaming comics, and of course, 21 new and returning all ages comics. And with that said, it's time to take a look at our two books of the week. As always, we pick two books of the week every week here at Alternate Reality. One for kids, one for the rest of us. We just count them both 25% off all week long, while of course supplies last. And before we get to them, let me issue a spoiler warning for our two books of the week. You're about to see some of the interior pages from them, and that may spoil the reading experience for you. So, if you don't want to see these interior pages, skip over to our top 10 list and skip this week's book of the week. But otherwise, here we go. And our kids' book of the week for this week is... Dark Horse Comics is Disney's Pixar Incredibles 2 Slow Burn Number 1. If there's one thing Dash is known for, it's being the embodiment of speed. From fighting evil villains to eating breakfast, Dash doesn't do anything at normal speed. When a new mysterious villain arrives on the scene, the family rushes to the city's defense, leaving Dash changed in a way that he never imagined. This book is written by Christos Gage with art by Jean-Claudio Vinci, and it comes with two variant covers. Cover A is the regular Jean-Claudio Vinci cover, and cover B is the Kawaii Creative Studios variant cover. This book is a $3.99 cover price, but for you it'll be $2.99 all week long. That's 25% off. And now it's time for our book of the week for everyone else, which is Dark Agnes number one of five. This story has no title. It's from Marvel Comics, and this is her first solo comic series. Forced into an arranged marriage, Agnes de Chastillian took matters into her own violent hands to free herself from the yoke of a life that she never wanted. Now the woman known only as Dark Agnes makes her way through 16th century France as a sellsword. That should be fun. This book comes with a parental advisory, I would presume because of all the guillotining that goes on in the first issue. And it is written by Frank Terry with art by Angel Unzinta. And it comes with two varying covers. Cover A is the regular Stephanie Hans cover. Cover B is the Becky Cloonan variant cover. This is a $3.99 cover price, but for you it'll be $2.99 all week long. And now it's time for our top 10 list. Now, as always with the top 10 list, we start off with number 10 at the bottom. We work our way up to number one at the top. This list is based on my ordering here at Alternate Reality. It's not the Critics' Choice Top 10 of the week, and it's not the Top 10 Comics Nationwide. It's my Top 10 Comics based on the number of titles that I order each week. These are what came out as the Top 10 for this week. And as always, like I said, we start off at the bottom with number 10, which is Ant-Man number one of five, World Hive. 
Scott Lang tries to raise his daughter Cassie's opinion of him, so he takes a job that may lead to a global conspiracy that could topple the world order. Only Scott Lang can get himself into that kind of trouble. This book comes with one cover. It's the regular Edward Petrovich cover, and it has a $3.99 cover price, but for you it'll be $3.39 all week long. Coming at number nine, we have Marauders number seven from Emma with Love. Just what would it take to have Storm kick the White Queen's butt? Well, possibly it's the treasure on Island M. That might do it. This book comes with one cover, the regular Russell Dauterman cover, and it has a $3.99 cover price, but for you it'll be $3.39 all week long. Coming at number eight, we have Miles Morales Spider-Man number 15. This story has no title. Invasion of Brooklyn Visions is Miles' journal with all of his spider-related secrets is missing and falls into the hands of the worst person who could ever possibly have it. This book comes with two variant covers. Cover A is the regular Javi Garrison cover. Cover B is the Nick Bradshaw Gwen Stacy variant cover. This book has a $3.99 cover price, but for you it'll be $3.39 all week long. Coming at number 7, we have Daredevil number 17, Through Hell, Part 7. The war in Hell's Kitchen escalates with the Owl taking a direct approach against Wilson Fisk and Matt comes to term with his Daredevil identity. Also, Daredevil never shows up in this issue. This is an all Matt Murdock issue. This book comes with one cover, the Julian Totino Tedesco cover, and it is $3.99 all week long, but for you it'll be $3.39 all week long or 15% off. Coming at number six, we have Captain America The End number one. The story has no title except, of course, Captain America The End. Steve Rogers' last mission comes from Eric Larson, who's channeling his best mid-70s mad bomb, Jack Kirby, Captain America, as Steve fights a world full of red skulls. This book comes with two variant covers. Cover A is the regular Raza cover, and cover B is the Eric Larson variant cover. It has a $4.99 cover price, but because it's the first issue, it'll be $3.75 or 25% off all day long New Comic Wednesday, four and a quarter the rest of the week. Coming at number five, we have Justice League number 40, Invasion of the Superman Part 1, Impact. The new team of Robert Vendetti and Doug Mankey take over, and they brought the Eradicator and Madame Xanadu with them. This book has not one but two variant covers. The $3.99 regular cover is by Brian Hitch, and it'll be $3.39 all week long. It also comes with a $4.99 cardstock variant cover, which is by Art Adams. It, of course, will be $4.25 all week long. Don't miss out. Coming in at number four, we have X-Men Fantastic Four, number one of four. The Impossible Boy, the world has changed. Remember when Cyclops told Reed that when Franklin wanted to come home, that he could? That threat is answered here as the X-Men stop by Yancey Street to pick up Franklin. And hilarity ensues. This book comes with four variant covers. Cover A is the regular, Terry Dodson cover. Cover B is the Megan Hentrick flower cover. Cover C is the Mark Brooks cover. And cover D is the Chris Iliopoulos cover. Oh, look at that, just like Scotty Young. Uh, this book has a $4.99 cover price because it's the first issue, of course, will be $3.75 New Comic Wednesday and then four and a quarter the rest of the week. Coming at number three, we have Immortal Hulk, Great Power, number one. How did Peter Parker get the power of the Immortal Hulk? Well, it has something to do with Tom Hiddleston. You'll find out in this issue. This comes with two variant covers. Cover A is the regular George Molina cover. Cover B is the Max Furiyama variant cover. It is a $4.99 cover price, but it too is the first issue, so it'll be $3.75 New Comic Wednesday, four and a quarter the rest of the week. Coming in at number two, we have Star Wars Darth Vader number one, Dark Heart of the Sith Part One. What happened when Luke rejected his father? Well, we'll find out here. We saw how Luke reacted over in Star Wars Ongoing, but here we see what Darth did. This book comes with three variant covers. Cover A is the regular Inhook Lee cover. Cover B is the Chris Sprouse Empire Strikes Back cover. Cover C is, of course, the movie cover. This has a $4.99 cover price because it's the first issue. It'll be $3.75 all day long New Comic Wednesday and then four and a quarter the rest of the week. And finally, our number one book for the week, Batman number 88, Their Dark Designs Part 3. The Dark Knight goes to talk with the Penguin to find out why Deathstroke is after him, but instead finds the United Underworld. 
Maybe we'll see a penguin-shaped Navy surplus submarine in here too. This book comes with two variant covers. Cover A is the Tony Daniel cover. It's a standard cover and it's $3.99, but for you it'll be $3.39 all week long. Cover B is a cardstock variant by Francisco Mattea. It has a $4.99 cover price, but for you it'll be $4.25 all week long. And now it's time to take a look at this week's Raffle Mania winner. This week we're showcasing Raffle Mania winner number 284, which is Haley Horvath of Oak Lawn. She won a Marvel Gallery Lady Deadpool PVC statue. Congratulations, Haley. We hope that you have your statue prominently featured somewhere in your abode. And of course, you'll find our 283 other Raffle Mania winners as well as store sales, this week's shipping, the store calendar, and much, much more. All of it's at myalternatereality.com. And speaking of the store's calendar, you'll also find a link to this week's shipping video at the end of this episode, so be sure to check it out. And as always, thank you very much for giving me a few minutes of your time. I really do appreciate it. If you like this episode, be sure to give us a thumbs up and like, share, and subscribe this episode and pass it around if you would. We would really appreciate that. If you have any comments also, leave us some notes down below in the spaces provided. What did you think of this week's shipping? What is it you're looking forward to? Let us know down below. And remember, if you're unhappy with your reality, why not alter it? You can do that down here at Alternate Reality. Until next time, folks, you take care of yourselves, stay warm, stay safe, because I want to see you again next time. So until then, this is me saying, bye!